Hello, my name is Seppi and welcome back to the coffee break in Minecraft. Today is Tuesday, September 20th, 2022. I am back. I am back from the journey to Bornholm. And since all the memories and experiences are still fresh in my mind, I like to record a couple of episodes of the coffee break in rapid succession to really tell you the story of the journey to Bornholm. But first, I need to feed the cat, so let's grab a fresh cord and give it to the cat. Here you go. Did you miss me? My cat starts to purr right away, so I assume the cat missed me and is happy to see me again. Let's step outside and make sure that the park is still in good shape so that I can be happy too. Would be really bad if an enderman changed the, the park. Things looking good. Things looking really good. All right. Today and maybe even tomorrow, I like to focus on the paws of the cat. So I like to construct the cat's paws as well as legs. Let's see how far I can get with this with this task. Let's let's get to the cat monument and see what we can do. So yeah, the journey to Bonholm began with what I already discussed the last time. So I brought a first selection of clothes and items to Berlin. There I narrowed down things again. And in retrospective, I must say I really made the right choice. I brought the right things. Most of them got used during the journey. A few were back up. So yeah, worked out fine. Worked out really great. I was surprised that I got away for all the, the day trips with my favorite adventure short pairs. <laughs> so um, I, I have a favorite pair of shorts. I like to wear for hiking and traveling and so on. And yeah, they, they were good enough, despite the fact that the temperature, the temperature dropped quickly. In general, the, the temperature dropped quickly. Th this is so strange. I, as I as I left, I think even the day I I left, we we had temperatures of twenty six centigrade or so. The first day in Berlin also was super warm, but over the course of the the last week, the temperature dropped a lot. So this is this is just just um, crazy how things changed from super summer down to okay uh, we are now in fall I guess <laughs> so that that's crazy that's super crazy uh, this over here do I do I have light gray Gray would be pretty amazing. Let's see if I do have something like like light gray. Um, so yeah, th this is I have gray wool. If I if I combine gray wool with white, I should get light gray, right? No. All oh, right, you can't you can't brighten it up, but I can make out of gray. I can make light gray. That's the way how it goes. 
So I need the black die, I need those insects. I have great, ooh, I, I do have great die, okay. So let's see. This will result in it's four enough. No, four is not enough. I need, ooh, wow, I need a lot. But okay, let, let's see, let's see if light gray is, is what I, what I like to have. Uh, yeah, so temperatures <laughs> dropped a lot. Also, not only that the temperatures dropped, but also got quite windy during the time we've been there. Okay, it should be that. And then we go here and place it there. Yeah, I would say light gray is okay. Okay, I need plenty of light gray. Great. I need 12, 12 more light gray wool. Let's get it first. Let's, uh, before I do that, I can fill in everything here. So do I, do I like to do something down there? Yes. I like to do that. And then everything else hmm. will be white too. Do, do I have more white wool somewhere? Yeah, it also got put windy, but th th this is this is a different thing. I am just surprised that it's really cooled down. That it really cooled down that much. So snap! I, I need a way to get up here. Maybe I can. No, I can't. Okay, anyways, this needs to go away now. This is now white. Let's fix the letter. Okay, uh, hmm, this gets problematic if I can't get, get, get into the cat monument again or into the legs again. Maybe I should accumulate all the material that I can build up or so. Okay, I need 12, 12 more, 12 more light gray. So yeah, um, narrowed down things, packed everything. The first day of course was traveling to Bornholm, then getting into the the Airbnb. We we booked an entire four, four enough. Wait, 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 what am I doing here? We booked an entire house. It was somewhat of a big house. So there were that's eight. Okay, this is good. Does it double? It does double to some degree. Ten. Okay, one more white. Um, was was a house with three, four, four bedrooms basically. So there there were there were plenty of space. <laughs> the the only space that was limited was a bit towards the the ceiling. So I could stand up right in all the rooms <laughs> but some of the but but it was really really close at some part of the room so <laughs> this this was interesting that was very interesting uh, so some some part of the room i couldn't fit my hand between my head and the ceiling so i guess this speaks for itself <laughs> and uh, hey this is a good way how to to get a yeah, and then to how to get stuck. Okay. So yeah, th this this was interesting. This was very interesting. And um, okay, we have some more white. This is good. How do I okay, dirt? Dirt here. Aha. 
do I need to have that one filled in? I guess so. I think so. I like to do this. I mean, this is, requires me to shear more sheep, but okay. And then this is fine. And from here on, I need some wool there. Oh no, oh no, oh no. And basically that way. Nighttime. Do I do I have do I have my bed? No. Is this a bed still is there a bed? Do I have a bed here? I do have a bed here. Okay, th that's perfect. That's great. Okay, this and I can use up the, the black wool I still have left. The gray wool is not needed. Gray can start here. This can be stored here. Um yeah, we, we got into the house. What was really nice house good house it said was very cozy house um besides the 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 blue ceiling height one particular oh no wait horse you need to stay here for just a bit longer one particular issue problem with that house was the the shower the bathroom because in the in the in the bathroom in the in the shower there was no particular shower tub or anything like that. It was just well the the, the entire bathroom was the shower basically. So the the wait am I doing it needs to be to there. Yes, this is then getting black. Okay. The entire bathroom basically was the shower, which meant once you took a shower, you flooded the entire bathroom because the the drain for the shower was directly underneath the, the bathroom sink. And the bathroom sink was on the opposite side of the shower head <laughs> so uh th this was interesting this was a very interesting experience of taking a shower but well that that that's this was the biggest issue about this beside that the the house was great even had a yard so you could get out into the garden if it would have been sunny enough and warm enough you could have enjoyed the sun in the garden rested there and so on so what was really really great great good house okay made some progress here now we need to shear sheep again and uh, yeah really really enjoyed that one so after after checking in after getting to the airbnb after selecting the the bedrooms and unpacking things it was time to explore a little bit this little village and to well, walk along the the harbor, explore the harbor, and finally go some grocery shopping. So with with Airbnb, we decided to hey, we do have this, this super nice kitchen. Well, it it was not aesthetically nice. It was it had everything you need, but but it was cozy kitchen was. It get it got the job done, and uh, yeah, was was a good thing to just prepare dinner after all the the day trips at home. Not even sure about all the well, there there was one restaurant I guess in the there were there at least I, I was aware of one restaurant. Maybe there are more in that village, but since it's no longer main season. Lots of places could have been already closed or so. So yeah, th this was it, it was just more practical to cook at home. I think out of the the seven days we cooked there and stayed there, I cooked five day times five days, and uh, yeah, so th it became it became somewhat of a 
daily job to end the day before getting home by visiting some grocery store to buy some groceries for the for the dinner that day. Also for the first day we also needed stuff for for breakfast and um, maybe some some snacks for for hikes and so on so there, there was some some shopping involved the first day and yeah this concluded then the first day I mean after having finished the the shopping I did some some workout in the in the in the garden this was ideal for that one to just get my strength training in just get out in the garden and yeah have fun <laughs> so th this was cool this was amazing I really enjoyed that way that that only one day I had to do indoor training because it was raining but all the other days I, I could do my my training outside so I, I really enjoy when this is possible so yeah th th this was the first day second day we we went to an interesting place there yeah, I mean it was was in the end or a walk or hike along the the coastline well on the one hand side there were but was the the Baltic Sea on the other side were some lakes and forest and so on so it was it was really a beautiful spot to to hike along but the the the, the trip started by visiting a spot where they piled up the material that was dug out doing some some mining activities as there were mining coal in that region and apparently that material is not good for flowers plants because it, it remained as it was so it was just yeah it looked a little bit like a lunar landscape or so so it was, was some somewhat of grayish um environment and th this was quite quite a unique place also it was fun to is to see they had some some old mine carts still standing around there so i did the the typical indiana jones experience by by jumping into one of those mine carts and uh yeah then then we we continued on after having explore, explored that that lunar landscape along the coastline to those lakes yeah just just taking the scenery the nature really oh, right you're still here <laughs> i think you will be here forever skeleton sheep uh, skeleton sheep skeleton uh, horse oh, so that, that's the the animal you are um yeah unfortunately on the the way back to the car we got some um we got some some rain heavy shower of rain that was not forecasted <laughs> so i just brought a soft shell jacket for the for that day which is not really waterproof it's okay when it's just drizzling or so then this, this jacket is fine but for heavy rain it's not not getting the job done <laughs> so got a bit wet and um, was a little bit concerned like okay running about with wet clothes is a it's an easy way to to get a cold luckily this did not happen so after getting back to the car we were then thinking okay what what's next we need some some lunch Bornholm also is famous for its smoked fish so there are a few places well there, there's only one place left where they actually do the smoking of fish uh, we got there bought bought some fish i had a piece of smoked salmon and a piece of smoked mackerel drove home with with that food skeletons and after after changing clothes we we enjoyed that fish 
and um, yeah, then then we went went out again. Of course, also for for the purpose of grocery shopping, <laughs> needed more food for the for that day, for the for the dinner, and uh, yeah, explored the the next nearby town village. It's so it's so hard to say what what classifies a town. How many how many houses, how many houses result in a town? Anyways, uh, we we got there, walked there a little bit along the the shoreline. Oh, by the way, um, I already saw that town the that day because I started every day aside from Wednesday because it was recovery week with a run, and Sunday morning was longish run day the the last run of the before the the oh my God, got some nice white wool this is good last run before the the beginning of their recovery week and um yeah it was a 20 kilometer run along the coastline this is really what i enjoyed it was fantastic to run along the coastline so it was really distracting it was a nice change of scenery the only thing that was a little bit difficult, I mean, for, for just getting in some kilometers, it was a little bit too, too hilly and a little bit too complex to run on. So with respect to pace, I was rather slow, but it was still nice, still, still nice change of pace. And speaking of the um, hilly, it, I was surprised how many hills there are in Bornholm. Wow, um, I got I got so many um, climbing done that that week. It was crazy. It was super crazy, and I was just doing a well recovery week there. So yeah, the the first day began with a twenty kilometer run along the coastline, where I also got to the to the other village we visited by then there there's some some ruin of an old castle we visited later that week and um yeah i initially wanted to run up there because i had my gopro with me but i took the wrong turn <laughs> i turned too, too early i thought okay there, there's a sign for here here you can get to a lighthouse and i thought okay why why not getting to a lighthouse which resulted in a very, very steep uphill run. <laughs> Man, th this was crazy. And not only steep, but also long. It was very steep and very long uphill run. Had a nice view up there and uh, was also nice to, to see the... This is so cool to see the cat looking about. And it, it was also cool to just, yeah, see the lighthouse, reach the lighthouse. But when you run a steep uphill, then there's of course at some point also a steep downhill which resulted in a little bit of trail running so yeah the the, the uphill luckily was was on a, a paved road so this was good running on paved road uphill but downhill was on a rocky and rooty trail section this was exciting <laughs> this was exciting to to get down there and yes yeah, so i must say the the first First half of my 20 kilometer run was rather like trail running or so. The second half I then just ran along the the, the main road, which if you think of a main road was not very busy, especially not in the early morning. So uh, yeah, that, that, that's how the day started. And that's why I saw that, that one village for the second time that day. But it was cool. Well, well, it was nice to to also explore with a more relaxed pace, and uh, yeah. So this, okay, we only got the first day done, <laughs> but that's good. That's good. I mean, uh, that gives me plenty of things to talk about tomorrow for the regular Wednesday episode. I hope you enjoyed the start of this travel special. We are at the end of this, uh, well, not of this travel special, but of this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you will be joining me next time. Thank you so much for watching. Until then, my name is Abby. 
See you. Thank you.